you can see that better now. Uh, so I wanted to take this second, just a really quick video on how I film my overhead journaling videos. I get a lot of questions about this and so I figured it would be easy if I just showed y'all real quick. Uh, I recently got a new tripod. I'm gonna put up some photos here of my old setup. Uh, you can do this with any old tripod. Uh, and I would essentially stick out one leg super, super far so that I could tilt the entire camera forward and I would catch that extra long leg on one of the rungs of my dining chairs and sometimes I would tape it to it. The pictures do a better sort of explanation of how my setup would be, but it's a very precarious setup. And so, because again, like I wasn't setting it on a windowsill or anything, I was setting it on my, um, I was setting it on my uh, dining chair and my floors aren't even, so it's a whole thing. But, so I recently decided to invest in a new tripod and I also got a tripod head. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the names of those up here because I can't remember them off the top of my head. You can get this same tripod and a tripod head in a kit together on Amazon for I think $130, but I bought them separately. I got this on sale, um, or I got it used for about 80 bucks and then I got the tripod head off Amazon for I think $22. So all together, I think I paid just over a hundred bucks for it. But this is how I film my videos. And so I have this tilted up just a little bit and then I use the tripod head to tilt my camera down. So it's laying as even as possible over the surface of the table. And what happens here is that it films all of my footage uh, upside down. And then in post, I just rotate it 180 degrees. And then I usually have a big white foam board. This isn't a foam board, but it's a canvas. But I'll usually have a white foam board propped up here because then that bounces the light back from my window. Because again, I only shoot using natural light. That helps get rid of a lot of shadows and even out the lighting. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick look at what I looked at when I filmed a journal video so you can get an idea. So I have my journal right here and then I have my camera right here. So if we turn this on real fast, uh, I have no memory card, but that's not relevant. What I do is that I like to have um, this. So if I tilt this far enough, then it like adjusts the footage so that like I'm looking at the viewfinder the way I would normally want to. But for these purposes, I like to look at the viewfinder upside down so I know what the footage will look like after I edit it in post. And yeah, so I basically sit here and I just journal. Having this over here kind of a little bit out of my way makes it really easy to work and move. Sometimes I have to adjust angles and kind of finagle with things to make sure that the tripod legs don't get in the shot. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and uh, the setup costs you less than like $150, which I think is dope. So yeah, you don't need like, um, you don't need a huge rig or you don't need like ring lights and stuff if you want to film overhead videos. Um, I also just like using natural light. That's just a personal thing. Uh, I know some people prefer studio lighting for their work, which is fine. Um, but if you're just looking for a way to shoot overhead videos, these are the way to do it. Again, you can do this with any old tripod. Just know it's going to be maybe a little bit more precarious. Um, yeah, I hope this helped and I'm wishing you all the best in all your fun, creative, artistic endeavors. You're great. I love you a lot. Stay brilliant. Bye.